Welcome back guys to CryptoFly channel. Today we'd like to talk about local trades for ICP for this week. Let's dive in. First of all, like you remember, in my previous video, I marked it. We have all chances. Drop it to this level, this price, $3.98. Because I marked it on this uh, take profit indicator. Here, we bounce it from the buy line. Uh, take profit exit line and I'm expected drop once again to 78 level by FIP local FIP on daily time frame and test buy line once again it's not necessary so we have to always drop it one more time the most worst case scenario what we can form is head and shoulder just local head and shoulder and the price can be in this case if this pattern play out can be lower than two dollar for ICP so basically left shoulder head and if we're not breaking out zero level this high at $6.27, we can form me something like this one, like uh, right shoulder. So in this case, the size of uh, this shoulder can be even even lower than uh, 1.61 level by FIP, around $1, $1.32. So it will be pretty hard for uh, ICP. If we go to line chart, you can see how we start forming this head and shoulder pattern. I hope we will not forming this pattern because uh, if we count like this one, you know, left uh, head and right shoulder, so we're already breaking out that right shoulder. But uh, this, but the problem with the patterns, they can form on totally different time frames. It's the same like uh, on uh, Bitcoin. A lot of people see some uh, head and shoulder on four hour time frame, but on the weekly we got inverse head and shoulder. So the targets for Bitcoin. For me, just for me, uh, still in play, it's around 35, 36, or even 41. It's for Bitcoin. And I hope uh, ICP will break in out this level, retest, and going higher to our targets, what I marked before. And this FIB still in play. So we got first level, zero level, and correction 38 and minus 0.61. After this drop, we collapse it and trade and hold 0.5 level by FIP around $4.81. So one month we traded at this level and now we finally got impulse. So now it's really important for ICP breaking out this level, breaking out this high, liquidate all stop losses and going higher to the targets. What targets we can expect in this upcoming months and uh, alt season? So we have to go to global FIP and the... Uh, 27 level we are trade under 27 level it's a 13 dollar next one it's 38 and i would like to show you why exactly these levels we have to go to weekly time frame got a lot of stop losses first of all over than this level here at 23 and the stop losses at 38 so we have all chances grab this liquidity and this liquidity so make a move like this one and go into correction one more time, forming the global weekly double bottom. And take a look on this. It's all one, two, three, four massive gaps on the weekly time frame, which most likely ICP um, trade in the next upcoming weeks or the months. So from this current price under, we don't know where the bottom. We don't know because no support, no history. So we can work only with this level. So the magnet now is 27 level 13 and 18 level by FIP 38. Global a weekly FIP. So if we close the highest a full fill uh, with uh, this uh, imbalance zones, it will be over than 300, almost 400%. For alt season, it's more than real. The next step, it's only here. I mark it. We got weekly gap, the main weekly gap between 38 level by FIP and 23. It's 163 and 200. So if we take a look on indicators, on take profit indicator, why, why this levels are uh, also like a magnet? Because uh, it's spot on uh, futures a little bit different. So here, first target, it's a uh, fundamental price, $10.32 over than 27 level, uh, 13 around $14, then take profit 27, exit line 31. So at least we can close almost all gaps 
to exit line. Maybe with a weak candle like this one and drop it down one more time, test the buy line on a weekly time frame. These zones are most important levels for ICP. Most negative scenario you already know, if we're not breaking out their level, we can go in much, much lower. But now the road is open to take profit once again, exit line, liquidate all these people who open short, and there is a sky is the limit for ICP. But don't fall in formal. Always take profit or withdraw initial deposits and just leave free coins. Also, if we take a look on ADZ here, I would like to show you on 12 hour time frame how it works. Here, you can find out we got a overbought here and forming the pure divergency on 12 hour time frame. One, two, three, four. Here, divergency. So this was a time to sell and this was a time to sell. Now we didn't see divergency to buy, you know, but we get reaction. We get reaction and on daily time frame, we start probably, probably start forming divergency on daily like this one. So it can be the similar like we seen before. It can be something like this one, but higher on the chart, even to this level. And if we zoom out and take a look on a weekly, so we form it. Huge divergency here, I mark it. From May, the price was uh, $6 here at the top, even uh, $8.75. From this drop, we form in the huge divergency on the weekly. That's a big problem with the people who don't zoom out and take a look on a higher time frame. So people mostly analyze one hour time frame, four hour time frame, 12 hour time frame intraday. But, and they uh, start uh, screaming, oh, we going down because of divergency on four hour time frame. But if you zoom out and take a look on a huge divergency and huge accumulation stage uh, all this time period, and the biggest accumulation was in May, here at uh, between uh, $8.82 till uh, Let's take a look till uh, $6.82 at this level. And then we're forming the huge divergence on a weekly and drop it to $3.37. Uh, so this is divergence. Now we didn't see any overbought zone. So we have to see uh, something like this one, but in opposite way here at the top to start selling at the fixed position on ICP. And also... For monthly time frame, we just lay down on the bottom. So the target is still relevant, still relevant for these zones between uh, 163 and 200. So for a long run, yes, I'm waiting this target. So a lot of people ask me, are we going uh, higher than $20? It's just my personal opinion. I'm waiting. It's just my investments. You know, you can do whatever you want with your money. If we take a look on daily time frame on ICP on market mode here, we came into the grid zone once again. Here, last time we see this one at this top, at this top, and now we came in once again to this level. Uh, and if we zoom out, but on the weekly, we just start uh, from uh, a previous week, we just start came into green zone. So we're still early. So we need to see something like this one, even to see the orange zone, the overbought zones for ICP. So we have to use uh, every single time I use indicators in complex. So I don't use one single indicator to determine my entry or exit point. And also on crypto flight direction on a weekly, we get all chances going higher. Of course, if we reject, we have all chances collapse it down and uh, go in under, for example, than $1. That's why you have to work only with your risk management. And I'm waiting if we will see the alt season, the target is here, 13 and 38. So guys, I hope you like this video about ICP. If you want to trade with my customer care set 6 in 1 only for $1 per day, just write me DM and don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.